Hi, my name is Enzo, and after finally realizing that it's been a couple of months now since I've made a Roblox video about a Roblox game on the hit game Roblox, I've decided to come back once again to make a Roblox video about another Roblox game that I play. So you've probably heard of this one Roblox game, it's called Zeppelin Wars, it's the one to do with two blimps, and you fly around with planes to bomb the other blimp. I'll be talking about Zeppelin Wars a bit, talking about the roles, the sort of things to expect in the game, and uh, why it's pretty fun. In Zeppelin Wars, there are two sides, Pirates and Patrol. There's not a huge difference between the two except for the colour that represents the teams. The main objective is to take down the opposite blimp by taking down its two fuel tanks. One found at the front, the other found at the back. There are also ammo boxes that look like this available to you around the blimp, as well as fire extinguishers, cannons, better cannons and machine guns. In Raid, if you pick the patrol team, your objective is to defend the harbour by taking down the pirate zeppelin. If you pick the pirate team, your objective is to defend the zeppelin and bomb the harbour. If you play as crew and patrol, you can also control a harpoon boat, used to drag the blimp down and commit arson. In Skirmish, instead of one zeppelin like in Classic, you get to be in one of the two mini zeps available, with three ammo boxes, one fuel tank, and a handful amount of torpedoes that serve absolutely no purpose except for decoration. The main objective is to take down the opposite two small zeppelins. Now, that's great and all. Oh wow, that was a voice crack. Now, that's great and all, but what else do you need to know? There's two roles that you can deploy as, and I will just be explaining them with a bit of extra bits and bobs you might want to know about. If you choose pilot, congratulations, you have the luxury of flying a plane and planting bombs. Your weapons of choice are mainly secondary guns like pistols or revolvers. Flying a plane is the main fundamental part of the game. On the Zeppelin, you have these plane spawners that look like this. One outside on the runway, and one inside. The plane spawner inside allows you to spawn one cedar plane, whilst the spawner outside allows you to spawn two cedar planes so you and your friend can work together. The one inside the blimp allows you to spawn light planes. If you're someone who wants to go cheap and save your points, go for the light bomber. If you're someone who wants to damage the other step, go for the rocket plane. And if you just want to take out planes, go for the fighter plane. Not only is it the fastest plane in the game, you also have 900 ammunition. Wow. However, the one outside on the runway allows you to spawn heavy planes. If you want to go Luke Skywalker and pretend the blimp is the Death Star or something, go for the Heavy Bomber which has two torpedoes, compared to the Torpedo Bomber with one. Okay, so I'm usually not a maths person, but I really want to mention this real quickly. The health of the fuel tank is 675. Firing one torpedo to one tank is half its health already, but if you fire two torpedoes with the Heavy Bomber, Wait, I've got to mention one more thing. You see that number above the green circle? It's meant to show the distance between you and whatever you're targeting. If it's on red, do not shoot your torpedo. Launching them at a close distance will result in the torpedo itself not exploding. Also, with enough gold by leveling up or doing the daily quests, you can customize your plane with funny decals and such, so you can intimidate your opponents with funny, not outdated Squid Game references as you try to bombard them. Since we are talking about things that you can get with uh, gold, uh, you can check out the market. I mean, all it does is, uh, you know, give you uh, weapons. Which are pretty neat if you're someone who's like, I don't know, some World War II uh, fanatic and just wants to keep some rifle. Do you like fire? Are you an arsonist? With this one of a kind weapon, you can burn your opponents with a flare gun. Not only can it burn people, it can burn planes, taking them down as if you were using a net launcher. The beauty of it all? The moment you hit someone with it, they will die instantly. 
unless someone just so happens to carry a fire extinguisher, which doesn't happen most of the time. The advantages with this gun is that it is guaranteed to kill someone or destroy a plane if the flare hits, but it can be stopped by a fire extinguisher and it doesn't have a lot of ammo. Okay, so what if burning wasn't your passion? Do you like to stay hidden at all times? Do you like to be funny and pass your amogus on the other team? Equip either the knife, or bowie, or sickle, or the trench knife available in the market, to have the ability to one-shot people at the back. The only disadvantage is, you don't get a gun, and you're only stuck with the melee. By using these hidden gems properly, you can stab people to your heart's content without getting caught, most of the time. Stab. <laughs> Now, if you're someone who doesn't play melee only, then you should probably get the Mozart or the Frommer. They're both pretty good guns, one of which you can buy in the market, the other one you can get by leveling up. Overall, two good guns that you can use as pilot. And now we're moving on to the second bit of using this role, which is all about... Let's talk about bombs. They are the key to destroying fuel tanks, okay, besides, you know, using torpedoes, as well as other things on the Zerp. There are four available bombs you can choose from. There is also the Fisher bomb which causes earthquake on the Zeppelin every so often and can easily destroy ammo boxes. You know the word kamikaze? You can quite literally dive to the other blimp knowing you've strapped a time bomb or some dynamites on your plane. You can use Hierarchy to cause a bigger explosion with a bigger damage, but the disadvantage is it takes 40 seconds for it to explode. Because of this disadvantage, your bomb is less likely to explode most of the time because there's just a lot of crewmates on the other team, unless you have another bloke help you defend your bomb. There's also the fuse bomb where you can carry the bomb as it fuses under your fingertips. If you're someone who has run out of points, or just someone who's realised that nobody is defusing bombs or defending the blimp, become crew. Your weapons of choice are mainly primary weapons like shotguns or rifles. You also have a net launcher, which can be used to sabotage an enemy plane, but who needs that when you've already got cannons? As well as a welder, used to repair stuff and defuse bombs, and also eventually a wrench because engineer gaming, which repairs stuff quicker than the welder. As crew, you should also keep an eye out around the Zeppelin for any intruders from the opposite team. Is there a pest somewhere in your Zeppelin? Is there one grabbing onto your window? Now, with the Ultra Mop 3000, you can make that pest disappear. Bang! 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 And the dirt is gone! If you want to have fun flinging people, the Mop is a fun item to use to push your opponents. You can also get a flag. Available on Veterans Day, the flag is a unique support item, with a range of 20 studs giving people near it a 40% health boost, as well as playing music. The flag has the symbol of the team you're in, and it's just nice to carry around. It's not the greatest item, but hey, it's got a nice health buff. We're close to the end of the video, so to wrap things up, here's one more weapon you can try out. It's called the Martin. It's your average rifle with a scope. This is for the gamers who play Sniper in TF2 or just people that enjoy it's sniping in general. Oh, it's only 114 gold to buy and if used correctly, the results of the outcome are satisfying. And I guess that's all I have to say. It's a fun war game to play on Roblox, and I recommend you try it out if you haven't yet. There's still plenty of things to talk about, so if this video does well, I guess it wouldn't hurt making another video on Zeppelin Wars, or another game on Roblox. I'm gonna be absolutely honest with you, this video has taken me an entire month just to make. 
this one Roblox video about a Roblox game and I've been making Roblox content since I started this channel and somehow up until now I've struggled making a Roblox video. Now, a couple of weeks ago, you probably remembered that I made a video on Plants vs Zombies 2. While I was making that video, I was in Cornwall for a week. Not only that, but I also had to revise for some upcoming exams, which as of now, those upcoming exams are the exams that I'm doing right now. If you're watching this on the 3rd of May all the way to the 6th of May, that means that I'm still doing my exams. And therefore, uh, expect me not to post any content for a while because of that reason. So I guess this is goodbye for now. Yes, I do plan on posting content, and no, I don't know when I'm going to be posting content, but I have a lot of plans for future videos, as well as plenty of people to play video games with, which means a lot of fun. But yeah, this, this is basically it for now. So um, yeah, uh, I'll see you later. Stay tuned. Uh, I might post on community tabs once in a while, but... Yeah, this is this is uh my first goodbye. Well, no, not my first goodbye. This is my second goodbye because I, I made that song a while ago. Uh, good times. Well, anywho, this is it. I'll see you later. See you in like a couple of weeks. Goodbye.